Yo, what's saying? The man, your boy, Pump It Up. Listen, ladies, I want to know something. When you start going to the gym, you start wearing your waist trainer, you start toning up, you start eating healthier. Hell, some of y'all might even go get work done to your body, BBLs and all that stuff. But once you get to that point, you dare, you slave, you finer than a motherfucker. What's next? I said a lot of y'all get online. I'm talking about every day showing y'all beauty, showing how y'all look, showing your body and all these things. You marketing and promoting yourself for what? A husband, a friend, baby daddy, a cut buddy. What's next? First of all, let me let you know something, right? When you do this, altering your body, all you're doing is moving from one category of men to the next. What do I mean by that? A lot of men and not all men like big booties. Not all men like big titties. Not all men like people, you know, women that wear makeup every day, eyelashes every day. Not all men like that. You must, you must understand this. Secondly, it was already beautiful. God made something. It's something out of everybody. I don't give a damn how you look. But you must understand. You just went from the everyday girl to the weekend girl. Meaning. When we see you as a fine woman, I'm talking about you fine, you online, you popping. All we see is problems, money, attention, not wife. Because we can't put up with that every day. That's like having a Bentley. You don't drive it every day. But you can drive an Acura. If you can drive an Acura every day. What I'm basically trying to tell you is this. Don't fool yourself and think that a guy gonna see that and want to wife that i'm a man pay attention to me you must understand we want a woman we can bring around our mothers our children i said man not boy and a lot of y'all will fall for this these dudes out here bring over here i seen this one post dude bring over here we'll take care of nails and we'll take care of this and we'll take let me tell you something man if you let a guy value you off the money he have, you gonna get shitted on. Some women okay with that. I'm like we gonna we gonna keep it a buck. But if you let a guy use his money to entertain you, you finna get shitted on. And that's why I say, what's the destination? What are you doing that for? What are you advertising yourself for? A husband? A cut buddy? Friend? A baby daddy? What? Most of y'all don't even know. You know, and it's okay going on, you know, show your beauty. But every day, all day, it says a lot about you. And I'm a man, I'm telling you. It's the same thing with these dudes. I'm sure you see these dudes on here doing all they're doing the most. You're going to say the same thing. But what I'm telling you is this, baby. You was already beautiful. You ain't got to do all that shit. You know how I many NFL um, wives, basketball player wives, I tell you, this money don't mean shit when it comes to my happiness. You think money make you happy? You, you ever heard a person say, more money, more problems? Man, you better start listening to that shit. Everybody's different. I'm not saying you're going to be the same, but you better watch out for it. And these dudes throwing their little cash around. Man, let me tell you something. I'll never let a dude control you with his money. These are the type of dudes that come in 4, 5 in the morning, hell, the next day. And a lot of women ain't going to say shit. Why? Because he's taking care of everything. Not all men, but you know the ones I'm talking about. And I ain't bashing nobody, man. Do what you do. But I got daughters, bro. I want to get on here and be capping about that. I don't give a fuck how nobody feel. It is what it is. You got some women that just want money out dudes. You got some dudes that just going to give you their money. Because you got to remember, dude, that uh, anybody with time, Ain't got money. And people with money ain't got time. So when they got money, they don't have the time to sit and wind it down you. They just throw you a few bucks and he go on to the next. When you're dealing with people like that, you got to watch out, man. Because they be, bitch be slanging meat out of both sides of their motherfucking pants legs. So when it comes to that dollar, sometimes that money ain't worth it. You better read between the lines. Sometimes that money ain't worth what you think, you know what I mean? You don't know what a motherfucker out here doing when they moving like that. You better pay attention. All I'm saying is this, bro. I'm old enough and I've been living long enough to where uh, you ain't got to tell me shit. I'm telling you. And you better pay attention. That's all I'm saying. 
You don't have to go get all that stuff done. You know what I'm saying? But if you want to do that for you and make sure it's for you, it's a thin line between that. It's the first thing they say, I'm going to get this for me. A lot of them ain't. But if you want that type of attention, there's no what comes with it. I'm just being honest with you. Don't think you're going to find a husband because you promoting yourself as the finest thing on the internet. Men really run from that shit. I say men. You know why? Because they understand what's going to come with that. You become the weekend woman. The guy he sleep with and send, he sleep with you and send you back home because he can't deal with you every day. A wife is someone who going to be a partner. Okay? And I told you, a wife might not be a dime. She might be a six. She might be a seven. But she have other accolades that she brings to the table that compensate for her lack of looks. That's a big difference. That's a major difference. So let's know what you're doing when you want a high value man. A man that knows what he wants before he even met you. <laughs> looks ain't everything. And that goes for men and women. Hopefully y'all got something from this post. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just being real. Like, think about what I'm saying. It's a lot of people who thought looks was going to get them everything or they use looks, you know, for everything. Sometimes looks and shapely, you know, you being shapely by by just, you know, naturally shapely and you, you're you a beautiful woman. And sometimes that'd be the worst thing that happened to you. Some women are annoyed by that shit because that's what society tell us. That shape and that look is what I want, and they be at your ass with the wrong intentions. So, to each his own, bro. We all live differently. Some people gonna like this post, some people not. Hey, I just said what I motherfucking said. You know what I mean? All I'm saying is, at the end of the day, I just wanna know why. But you do all those things to yourself, and you get online promoting yourself, for what? What's next? What you doing all this for? All this hard work. Some of y'all spending thousands of dollars on y'all body. I just don't know why. You know what I'm saying? And it's okay. It's your life, man. Do what you want to do. But just be aware of what you're doing. Okay? That's it. That's all. That's it. It's your boy Papa Duck, man. I love y'all, man. Like I tell y'all the time, man. In order for you to be found, you must first be lost. <laughs> Enjoy your life, man.